Hi guys, how you doing? Dr. Sean here. So today we're going to be talking about Botox and its uses in the dental field. Botox has been an important impact in the medical field, but recently it's also been important in the dental field. And not to be biased or anything, but as dental professionals, we have more knowledge and have done more invasive procedures in and around the facial areas than any other healthcare provider. Botox is used in a variety of ways. I would say the most common ways are to reduce fine wrinkles, especially in the forehead, the glabellar complex, and the lateral of the eyes, also known as the crow's feet. Um, in terms of the dental field and dental uses, it's most commonly used for TMJ, bruxism, and a gummy smile. So when a patient smiles and they show too much gum, it's used to help uh, lower that lip. So when they do smile, they don't show as much gum tissue. So the mechanism of Botox is that what it does once it's injected uh, into the muscle, it binds to the nerve endings that actually control the muscle and its contractions. So what it actually does, it decreases the contractions of the muscle which allows the muscle to relax and that in turn smooths out any fine wrinkles. The duration of Botox lasts about three to four months depending on how big the muscle is and actually how much Botox you actually inject. 80% of patients have TMD and need some sort of treatment. So with TMD, the patient can actually point to where they're having pain. They can actually point to those trigger points that are causing them any kind of facial pain. So what we do with Botox is we inject that Botox into those trigger points, which helps relieve and calm those muscles and ultimately gets the patient out of any kind of pain they may be feeling. Okay. Um, another thing is bruxism. Uh, Botox really helps to um, decrease any forces of bruxism that the patient may be undergoing. Uh, we inject into mainly the two muscles that are causing bruxism, the temporalis and the masseter. Once we inject into those muscles, it calms those muscles and so the patient has less tendency to brux, especially at nighttime. The other common use in the dental field for Botox, as I mentioned before, is to uh, help prevent a gummy smile. So patients that have a gummy smile, as when they smile, they should show a lot more gingival tissue. In the past, what we used to have to do, we used to have to have the patient undergo perio surgery um, to remove some of the bone, or even have them undergo jaw repositioning surgery. But now with Botox, we can go ahead and inject uh, into those hyperactive elevator muscles that'll help relax those muscles that are causing the elevation of the lip and in turn the lower the lip will start to lower down so once the patient smiles they will show much less gum tissue and this is definitely better than any kind of surgery the only thing is that the patient will have to come in every three to four months um, to get that done but most patients will choose to undergo Botox injections versus undergoing surgery so to all my dental professionals out there, Botox is becoming more and more common. So please don't hesitate. I know it can feel like it's kind of a scary area because we, we don't really know that much about it, but there are specific courses out there that help dentists learn more about Botox and actually help technically inject Botox into patients. So if you're a dentist out there and you're really hesitant on using Botox in the office, today's the day. Go ahead and get started because it can really help some of your patients out.